Hi, I'm Heather. I'm one of the nurses at the U of R Home Infusion Pharmacy. Today we're going to go over the Home IV Milrinone setup. So here we have our pump running. It's already connected, similar to what you're going to see at home because we're going to hook you up to this at home and then you'll be doing the disconnect and hooking up the next pump. So what I want to do first is clean an area down that I'm going to be working on to make sure it's nice and clean. The milrinone is going to be kept in the refrigerator, so you're going to pull that out about 30 minutes before you do the hookup, just to bring it to room temperature a bit. And then I'm going to wash my hands with soap and water or use hand sanitizer. So currently my pump is running. What I want to do is prior to that telling me my infusion is complete, I want to get the next pump ready. So in your supplies, you're going to have an extra pump. We're going to use this one for the next hookup, just so that we don't have to be without your milrinone for a long period of time. I'm gonna put my two C batteries into the battery case, like this. Slide the door up and lock it. Next, I'm gonna get my milrinone. I'm gonna take off this paper tape. I'm gonna open up this tubing. On the tubing, there's two colored pieces that we're gonna put into the pump. We need to twist this piece off of here for it to fit. So we're gonna twist that right off, it's a breakaway tab. Next, I'm gonna open up my pump and it says lift to open. I'm gonna lift it and open it up. On the inside of the pump, you're gonna see a blue arrow and then on the side, you're gonna see a yellow. I think it's a dot. And then this is gonna be color coded to the tubing. So. Here we have the yellow and the blue. I like to start with the blue because it, that's the way that the tubing runs. So this is gonna go inside of this little blue square. The tubing is gonna go inside here because it has that opening. And then we're gonna put the yellow into this side over here. Push down and clamp. Right. I'm going to turn the pump on. When you turn the pump on, it's going to tell you who makes the pump. Those are the alarm checks. And then your battery life. Now the screen says enter to select and it's highlighted on program and that's what we always want. And yes is how we proceed with the screen. So yes is the enter button. Enter to select, repeat RX, that's a brand new bag. That's what we have, so I'm gonna say yes. And this is gonna scroll through the settings that are programmed by the pharmacy. Okay, so now we're ready for when the pump shuts off. If you want to, if it's a, a longer period of time, you can turn the pump off just as long as you have everything in here and then you can turn it on before you hook up. All right. So in this bag, we have the, the pump that you can see through this window. That green light is flashing, that's still running. I'm gonna get prepared and take this and open the pouch. And that beep is telling me that my infusion is complete. I'll show you what that looks like. Right here. All right, so I'm just gonna push a button to see the screen. It says infusion is complete, okay? I'm gonna turn the pump off and to turn it off is pause and then off. I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. And then I'm gonna get this pump ready. I'm gonna wash my, or hand sanitize my hands again. And I'm gonna remove this from the end of the pick line. I'm gonna scrub the end of that for 15 seconds. Now 
Now we know we're never going to flush the mill runnel line. So I'm going to just scrub the end of this hub, wait for that to dry. And then I'm going to hook up the next line. Twist that blue cap off. And just be careful that we're not touching any ends here that we've already cleaned. Push in and twist, put that on. So don't be alarmed if you get this on your screen. It says no keypad activity. It's a it's kind of a safety thing. So if you're not pushing start in 30 seconds, it's gonna let you know that you forgot to push start. But now we're ready to start. So I'm gonna hit the run button. So that's a common occurrence if you forget to open up your clamp. So I'm gonna, this is a slide clamp. I'm just gonna slide that. It's gonna start running again for us, okay? So now that that's infusing, I'm gonna take the, the pump that is empty and get the medication bag out of there. And this goes right in the regular trash. Close this up and I'm gonna take the batteries out of here just so that I remember that the batteries are old. And I'll discard those. And I'm gonna set that aside. So now I can put my new bag back into the bag. I use the Velcro because it holds the bag better. There is a clip here. It doesn't really hold a heavy bag. So we're just gonna fold that over on top of itself. Close that. There's another piece of Velcro down here. So my bag seems like it's down too low. And if I try to fit it in there, it's probably gonna kink and give me an alarm. So I'm gonna pull it up high and that's okay to do. I'm gonna turn the pump upside down and backwards and put it into the pouch. And then this tubing can come right out the top of the bag. So now your pump is infusing for the duration of that the bag size. If your bag is lasting longer than two days, you're gonna have to change the batteries while that bag is running. So all you're gonna do is turn your pump off by hitting pause and then off. And then all you need to do, you don't have to take the whole pump out of the bag. You can just open this piece up, unlock, and there's your batteries. You're gonna change those, lock it back up. the on button. So there's the manufacturer. The alarm checks. And then the new battery life. Again, enter to select. We want the program, so I'm going to say yes. And It should say re, it should say resume when we turn this bag back on because it knows that the bag is not empty yet. So on mine, my infusion was already complete. But for you, if you're gonna be turning this off and you have the same bag in there, it's gonna say resume and then you're gonna hit yes. Okay. 
So now we have an extra line that we have to flush with saline. So I'm gonna have my saline and an alcohol pad. And a new alcohol cap. Let's scrub the end. 15 seconds. Try not to touch the end of your pick line. Might be better to have this syringe already open and ready for your, your hookup. We're gonna pull down and push the air out. And then push in and twist. We're gonna open up the clamp. We're going to do what we call push pause. So we push stop. You're going to keep doing that till it's all in there. And this is a very important step because this is going to help keep your line open. And with your very last push, you're going to clamp to lock pressure in there to help prevent clots. This is just going to go in the garbage and then I'm going to get a new alcohol cap and put that on the end. And then dispose of any garbage that you might have.